The school year is quickly coming to an end. Orange County Schools will finish on Friday, and it will mark the first year of the county's new cell phone policy. Phones were supposed to be off and put away in backpacks. New Six's Emily McLeod went to Timber Creek High School today to get a final report card on the new policy. After Orange County Public Schools approved a new cell phone policy preventing students from using their phones during the school day, Timber Creek High School has come up with ways to keep students engaged without their phones. So rather than playing on their phones during lunch, two days a week, Timber Creek students can come out to their courtyard, listen to music, even be the ones to DJ, or they can test their skills out on the pickleball court or with a game of spike ball. How important is that that we give kids these other outlets to be able to express themselves and to connect with other students? Yeah, it's huge, um, you know, because you have a lot of kids that really might not be able to connect with somebody or doesn't know mm -hmm. that somebody has an interest that they do. While OCPS does not yet have statistical data to show the impacts of the cell phone policy across all schools within the district, Timber Creek principal Mark Wasco says he thinks there's a correlation between the new policy and changes in student behavior at Timber Creek. We've seen in the classroom they're more attentive. Mm -hmm. um, the teachers say that they're actually able to have classroom conversations now. Also, discipline has gone down because you don't have those kids on social media seeing if someone is saying about them or someone got the newest, greatest thing and is making fun of somebody else that might not have it. Louis Luque is the senior class president at Timber Creek High School. He says he has noticed some changes in his own life since the cell phone policy has been in place. I can definitely see an increase in my grades, like not actually being on my phone for sure and just seeing a I feel like an overall benefit to it. Student body president Lauren Davidson says she's seen positive impacts as well. Almost every day when we put out the pickleball, the spike ball, we always see kids playing it. And even if we don't put it out, they're like, they come in and like, oh, are we playing spike ball today? Or, oh, this and that. But they love it. While Luke and Davidson say they've seen the positive impacts of the policy, they do say there are some areas where it could be tweaked. Maybe during lunch it could be revised. Maybe we could be on it during lunch. It's hard when you when we have so many activities, you do want to take a picture of your friend or when we have like our homecoming week or spirit days, we do want to take pictures. In Orange County, Emily McLeod getting results news six. And that leads us to tonight's News 6 question of the day. Do you think kids should have access to their phones in class? You can share your opinion at clickorlando.com slash react and just click yes or no. Right now it looks like 91% of the respondents say no. Again, uh, that poll is at clickorlando.com slash react or if you have your phone handy, you can open your camera app, scan the QR code you see on your screen and that link will take you to the poll and we'll have the results on our online only newscast coming up at News 6 at 6.30 on News 6 Plus and on our YouTube page.